This is the story of our dogs turning into alligators, which also kind of started our animation studio. A lot of good ideas. The experiment started with someone on our apps team, Eli, who could animate in 2D. And so we're like, hey, let's hit pause on the apps for a month. And can you animate this alligator episode, which was our family's like favorite at the time, the dogs get to turn into alligators. Could you create this same sound, same story, but just move it in 2D? And one guy in one month pulled off our very first cartoon. Let's, uh, let's call Eli from Apps and see what that was like. And then after that, we'll show you guys how we ended up making everything 3D and extra awesome so we could create games and more stuff. And text him like five minutes ago and was like, hey, I'm gonna call you. We're talking about the dogs turning into alligators. There he is, what's up? Hey, how's it going? This is Eli. This is gonna be our first ever story that's been reimagined three times. Real life, 2D, and 3D. That's pretty cool. Do you have a favorite part from that episode? To me, the shift between the kitchen to the wild jungle. Yes. Um, we, yeah, we just kind of made that up because when you guys were throwing the plates down to jump on them, I thought, man, what would look cool for them to be jumping on plates, but we've got to transition into a jungle somehow. So I thought, oh, we'll just have the kitchen broken away in there. We go down that place. water slide into the basement. Yeah. Now we're going from 2D and what you created into 3D and where we're currently at. Cool? Nice. Okay. Cool, man. Thanks, bro. Good to chat. Eli from Apps and the start of animation. <laughs> See ya. Adley's idea to try and figure out cartoons, something I'd never thought of, thinking like, how could we reimagine our videos and, and tell those same stories, but through a different medium. And really it was some amazing conversations with the right people that pushed us into 3D and Unreal Engine, which was just the move. It was just coming out and it just makes everything so you can create the environment once, the rig once, and then just keep reusing those, where we're reusing the same stories that our audience loves and reusing these same environments and rigs. It just created this process and pipeline that was so fast and so new. Um, I, I wasn't huge in the animation industry, but everyone we talked to was very impressed by this new idea of what we could reimagine and then distribute through YouTube. And one of those people was Nathan Riddle, who's become one of my best buds. Let me go get Nate and you guys can meet him. Really cool guy. Introducing my friend Nate, who knows how to run an animation studio and create cartoons. Adley's idea, to Sean's reimagined idea, to Eli pulling off the first 2D animation, to the audience loving it, to us saying, okay, how do we actually do this and take it serious? And that's where Nate steps in. What do you remember thinking that first day we met and was like, we want to reimagine YouTube videos? Well, I was super excited because prior to meeting you, this is what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I'm like, man, how do I get this pulled off? And then within five minutes, we talked. And like, <laughs> yep. hey, man, we've got the audience, we've got distribution, we've got this covered. And I'm like, well, I've got almost 20 years of industry experience and all this new technology yeah. that's coming out. You were already running a pipeline we similar and doing stuff. Man, this is just like a dream come true to be able to, to merge what I want to do with, with yep. your, your storytelling and look at us today. We created Pirate Island Unreal Engine. We have our own like video game level and then we started picking out shows to reimagine and our very first one was Pirate Island, it really correct? Was. It was Pirate That's Island. That's a fun one. It's really exciting because the, the episode, it, it not only creates full circle where you get to see the alligators and your family in 2D, IRL, and now in 3D, but we're also teasing those extra pieces of Pirate Island. So as you go down the basement, that whole waterfall scene pop it up in 2D. <laughs> That scene, everyone loved it. That scene now takes you into Pirate Island, into the dinosaur area, this waterfall, and you see all the foliage, and which is so fun, because there is that dinosaur area in real life that we surprised Nico with for his birthday. A dinosaur? What? A dinosaur! <laughs> So Dinosaurs. as we do fun things in real life, it goes into animation. As you guys come up with ideas in animation, we put them into real life and it just keeps going. And dogs turning into alligators. It's gonna be a good cartoon. I hope you guys enjoy it. And not long after that, you're gonna have some nursery rhymes showing up. Yes. So keep an eye out. You're gonna love those. We've started posting them on Saturday, Saturday morning cartoons, you know, taking it back to childhood. That is how our cartoon started. That's why our dogs turning into alligators is so important. And that's a little bit more about the animation studio. We'll keep giving you fun updates as we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.